This methodology is for estimating the percent protein in maize flour by determining the amount of ammonical nitrogen in the sample. The determination process consists of three steps. One, sample preparation. Two, digestion. Three, Technicon reading. The following reagents are required. Sulfuric acid, a catalytic mixture of potassium sulfate and black selenium. Reagent one, mixture of sodium phosphate and sodium hydroxide. Reagent two, sodium and potassium tartrate dissolved in distilled water. Reagent three, sodium hydroxide dissolved in distilled water. Reagent four, mixture of reagents one, two, and three and one gram of Brige. Reagent five, mixture of sodium salicylate, sodium nitroprusside, and Brige. Reagent six, mixture of sodium chloride, sulfuric acid, and Brige. Six percent sodium hypochlorite, ammonium sulfate, standard solution of ammonium sulfate at 20 parts per million. Procedure. Select 20 grains at random and put them into an envelope. Later, the grains are pre-milled using a disc mill that breaks each grain into particles about one millimeter in size. The material is then ground in a cyclonic mill to obtain flour made up of particles less than 0.5 millimeters in size. Empty the flour into a filter paper cone labeled with the name of the sample to be analyzed. Each cone is placed in the trap of the Soxlet equipment which defats the flour using 300 milliliter of hexane. Next, weigh 50 milligrams of the defatted flour and place in a 75 milliliter digestion tube while trying to keep the sample from adhering to the sides of the tube. A pair of blanks and a pair of maze checks or controls of known protein content should be placed in each rack. Add 2 grams of the catalytic mixture to each tube to help accelerate the digestion process. Then add 2.5 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid, trying to remove the remnants of flour and catalytic mixture that may remain on the sides of the tube. Place the tubes in the digester, preheated to 380 centigrades, and digest the samples for 90 minutes. At the end of the digestion process, remove the tubes and put them under the extraction hood for 15 minutes. The sample in each tube should be a transparent liquid. Add deionized water halfway up to the tubes and shake in a vortex until all particles are dissolved. Dilute to 75 milliliters with deionized water. Cover the tubes and homogenize the solution by inverting the tubes. Transfer two milliliters of the solution in each tube to the Technicon capsules and put them in the sampler as follows. Six capsules with the digestion blank to adjust the equipment. Four capsules with 20 micrograms per milliliter of the standard mixture of ammonium sulfate to adjust the graph maker. Two capsules with the digestion blank to adjust the baseline. Two capsules with two checks as controls. Finally, Place the capsules of each sample on the sampler. The sample is placed in the sampler, where it is injected into the equipment through an absorption needle and a peristaltic pump that carries the sample and the reagents to the collector. Here the mixture is prepared for the colorimetric reaction. Once the sample reaches the colorimeter, the absorption of monochromatic light is read in the flow cell. This measure is sent to the graph maker where data are obtained for estimating the percent of nitrogen. Calculations Determine the amount of nitrogen in the dilution. Then determine the amount of nitrogen in the sample and estimate the protein percentage using the factor assigned to maize. For maize, use a factor of 6.25 to estimate the protein content relative to the amount of ammonical nitrogen. The method described above has some disadvantages, such as it produces chemical residues, high testing cost per sample, very long processing time. For this reason, a model for predicting the protein content in maize flour using near-infrared spectroscopy was developed. This model allows the percent protein in a sample to be estimated in less than a minute, at a low cost and with minimal processing, since the maize grain just has to be ground. 
When the sample is subjected to infrared radiation, this causes certain molecular links in the protein to vibrate, which is recorded at 400 to 2500 nanometers on the electromagnetic spectrum. The flower can be used for other tests because infrared radiation does not alter its composition.